Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. This is a new episode of House in 60 Days. We built this big house in just two months. We heat this house with a boiler, but in the future we plan to insulate the house. So there is no facet, plaster and other things. We'll do all this probably after several months. With each new episode, we have an upgrade in the house. For example, we recently made a table and also installed a sink in the kitchen. We also installed the skirting boards in my room and see how beautiful it is already here. This week we'll add another piece of furniture to my room. Which one? Well, you'll see it in a while. And my room is perfect. I don't require any upgrades. I don't even care that I have no skirt boards. I have got a TV and a sofa bag. You even got a router. I also have a warmest room. Because you have three radiators. Yes. And I have only one in my room. Okay, let's go down to work. We also have three windows, by the way. In the previous video, we washed the roof. At least we tried. And today, with the help of such a tool, on which Sergei fixed the brass, we'll try to paint this roof. We decided to remove the toilet and put a table here. Why do we need a toilet in the bathroom? It's better to put a table. Actually, we're going to sheathe all these ugly parts where the pipes can be seen, where the socket should be installed. We'll make a small cabinet which we'll later sheathe with drywall and on top with the remaining pieces of our tiles. After that, we'll put the toilet as it was. See how we are greeted every morning here. Our dogs are always waiting for us. They're waiting for breakfast. They want to eat. Yeah. Are you hungry? Sergey? Coming? What the hell is this? Bloody hell, the wall seems to be in place. I don't understand. Did you rip it off? Of course, I came here from Kiev to do this. They destroyed our ice house. We wanted to build a whole ficus land. Didn't they break into the house? The door is closed. Are the windows intact, you saw? I'll take a look. Here is all intact. Let's look at the other side. Here also everything intact. We need to check the door on the terrace. What have we done to someone? I mean, why would anyone do that? Why did they break everything here? There's a board. Did they rip the board of the terrace? I'm shocked. I'm starting to get scared. Someone broke into our yard. We haven't checked the terrace yet. Maybe they were in the house. I don't believe it. Now let's see the recording from the cameras. I hope they worked at this time and recorded something. Do you think it was visible at night? We'll see it now. We'll be back. Yeah, and we'll wait with the police. And what's that? Does that mean something or just a drawing? I don't know. Fortunately, they weren't in the house. So let's look at the cameras, who it was and how many there were. I think we should call the police what to do. Did you find the footage? I'm trying to find it. So you're leaving the house here after we wrapped up the filming? Yes, look, we're already living. So we're leaving the house. I wonder after how much time will they are he come? How many people were there? The main thing is that the cameras worked. Here, look. Jump to the main gate. I can't believe this. It was 5.29 p.m., so it turns out that after 30 minutes after we left. They weren't even afraid of the lamp which was on. Most likely they were keeping an eye when we were leaving the house. Look, they turned off the flashlight and now trying to get through the fence. Where did he go? It's hard to see. I don't see anything. I think he's already getting off the fence. Yes, you see, and now he turned on the flashing light again. Going towards the garage. Just one person, yeah. Wait, you see the flashing light is still on. Guys, one more flashing light is shining. It turns out that there were two of them. One went here. I don't understand. Which side it is? Is it to the garage or is it over there? Garage. It turns out that one went here with flashing light and the other stayed to keep an eye. Did you see the second one? Yes, there were two flashlights. Now let's see the recording from another camera because he left the field of view of this camera. It's good that we have another camera pointed here. There you go. It's definitely not our neighbors. He's walking purposefully. 
Here you see he began to demolish our ice house. He's purposefully went to the ice house. Why did he go straight to the ice house? Well, thank God he didn't go into the house. So this is how it was. Where will he go now? He's walking as a fool, his property, shameless. What is he doing there under the tree? No idea. Did he pass there? We made that house for four days, four damn days, but someone didn't like it. I froze my hands while we were building it. But where is the second one? You said there were two of them. Where is the other one? The other one was standing near the fence. He was shining the flashlight, probably. Probably he made sure that no one noticed them. Where is going next? He's with an axe. It's not really funny anymore. We left the axe there only after work. I told you that we shouldn't leave the tools here and there. The axe was lying just in the yard. He could have break our windows with that axe. Could do anything, but the motion sensor would have worked. Do you hear that? Listen, he's trying to probably break our sauna. Did you check the door to the sauna? No. Maybe it's open. Now we'll go and check. Damn, judging by the sounds, there was a cows here, and now there is silence. Probably he has already done his rotten work. Can you hear the sound of the paint spray bottle? He's writing this inscription, I guess. I hear nothing. I can hear it well. Yes, he's writing now. It's bad that we don't have a camera that is pointed at our sauna. What if he comes back in the afternoon and wants to beat us, or maybe kill us with the axe? Do you hear the sound? Probably he threw off the pipe. Damn, those were hard sounds. I don't know what stopped him, that he didn't ruin the whole sauna. Now we'll continue to look at the cameras. Maybe this is some kind of warning. Maybe the neighbors came out after hearing the sounds. Guys, this was really a nightmare. We need to install a camera on the terrace so that we can see the sauna. Oh, the dogs barked. Finally, they woke up. Here, he probably stopped and left. Now let's see the first camera. What if he comes again today? Look, he starts to run away, climbs over the fence. Yes, you see, I said that there are two of them. The other one waves his flashlight. Now both left. Well, guys, they didn't break into the sauna. I think that we're somehow lucky. In fact, only the ice house was completely destroyed. Yes, but if this is just the beginning, then it's really scary. What to do? Need to set the alarm system and install more cameras. There is an alarm system in the house, so they are unlikely to get into the house. Something must be put on the fence, too. Security will come immediately and they will be in trouble, but that's not the point. The main thing is that they didn't cause any damage to the house. This is the first time we bought such a drill bed. It has such a strange tip. This is a special tile bed. It's called a diamond bed. In general, the drill bed is cool. It drills very well, but when you first start drilling, it vibrates a lot, it is impossible to get to the point. Also, do not touch the drill after you have drilled it, because I, the fool, have already burned my fingers. So this is how it's turning out. Now we'll sheath it with drywall and then from the remaining tiles, we'll close it on top. And we'll have everything in tiles and beautiful. Now we're installing such plastic doors in this box because here we have a faucet and we'll need access to it and on this side we have a filter. We'll install one here and the second here and then all these can be sheathed up with tiles. So while Sergei finishes with the plastic doors in the bathroom, I decided to work with the furniture which I talked about at the beginning of the video. Now I'm going to assemble, you know what, a cupboard. I already have experience in assembling wardrobes because in my apartment I also assembled a wardrobe myself. Although here it's a cupboard, the one that opens with doors, I think this will not prevent me from assembling it correctly and efficiently. So let's get to work. I can say with the confidence that our idea to paint the fiber cement is perfect because now it looks like a purchased ones that we have at the boiler room. But now we need to apply the second layer. I think it will be cool. The second layer will be quite enough. As I said, it won't take long. Yesterday I assembled this box in one and a half hours. Today is the second day and I have already fixed one door, attached the handles. Now I'll fasten the second one. It's actually much easier than I thought. When I made a wardrobe and inserted mirror doors, I had lost more time than screwing these hinges. I was afraid that the doors would be slanting and hang incorrectly, but in fact here the door is just one millimeter in the wrong position and everything is smooth. The cupboard looks small. It's enough for my needs. 
Maybe you should add some more furniture. Well, I thought it would be up to the ceiling, but now since there is a place on top, we can put some walls or something else there. Guys, I finally finished with this thing. Why did you put the matches in there? I didn't find those cross supports and I didn't want to go anywhere, so I temporarily used the matches to cover the joints. Okay. Well, this is a real love hack. As my friend says, matches comes in handy. In my opinion, everything looks cool, yeah. After routine, it will be even better. Well, it was a very emotional week, but we were able to get some work done. Write to us whether to look for those who broke into our territory or wait for them to come again. Be sure to support this video with your likes and write if you are waiting for the continuation. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. It was Fakus and interesting with you. See you next Sunday. Blah, blah.